So let's start with our next module, data entry. Under this module, as a first lesson, we are going to learn how to enter the data in Excel. When you open an Excel file, by default, active cell is cell A1, as indicated in the name box. You can see the column number, letter A, and the row number 1 is highlighted here, right? Since the cell A1 is already active, whatever we are going to tape is going to be the enter to the cell A1. Before we start entering in the cell, let's look at the bar here at the bottom, which says ready. That means we are in the ready mode now. So as soon as we start entering something like A, B, C, you can see that it enters the enter mode, right? That means now you are entering information into the cell in the worksheet, which is A1. So I'm just deleting this and I'm trying to type long sentence like any quote. For example, nothing is impossible. It's a famous quote, right? You can see that it's still enter mode. So one thing you have to remember is that this information is still not stored in cell A1. The reason is I didn't finalize this sentence still in the entering mode, right? That's the reason this information is not stored yet. Now I'm going to hit the enter key from your keyboard. And as soon as I do that, you can see that now Excel is back to the ready mode, which means the information that I typed in cell A1 is stored in cell A1. And also, as you can see here, the content in the cell is long. So the name seems to go from cell A1 to B1 and also a little bit into C1, right? You can see this. Let's continue entering another code in B1. For example, there is no shortcut to any place worth going. Such a long sentence, right? I'm going to hit the enter key. Now you can see that this sentence is jumped from A to B, B to C and D and E, right? The last sentence is showing under E column, right? Actually, Excel can hold three kinds of data. The first one is numeric, the second one is text, and third one is formula. So let me show you a few examples. I'm going to write the name of a student. I would write Rahul. Now you can see that the Rahul is a name. That means it's text, which Excel is or cell is holding it. And if I put some mark against this Rahul, for example, I put the mark around 75. Now this is a number that cell is holding, right? So as I said, Excel is holding text and numbers, right? And the last case, the formula one. So how the Excel is holding formula? I'll show it with the example. In case the Rahul has to achieve 95 marks in next academic year, that case, how much more marks to go? For example, 95 tape here, and just say putting formula here. In Excel, whenever you start applying the formula, always start with equal to sign. And 95 minus 75, and it. There's a 20 marks difference, right? So this 20 is placing cell number six. Actually, this is not a number or a text, this formula contain. If you see this formula bar, you can see that formula which we applied, okay? Regarding formulas functions, we'll be covering up in upcoming session with a detailed example, okay? So in a sense, Excel can hold three kinds of data, which is numeric, text, and formula. Hope you clear this topic. Let's move to the next session.